This is Van Live Argentina traveling in two vans that we both have driven from the US down to Patagonia. There's some kind of a rattle in there. That bell. What I broke this week? We got another issue with the van. This is in the serpentine belt. It was ever since that dirt bumpy road over in Jardin. Rattle, 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 rattle. Every time it spins around, if you look at the belt, you can tell like, it's kind of in, in time with as the belt moves that you see this. We're gonna take it back to this mechanic we know who we've been to before. He's really quick, really good. So fingers crossed, we'll see how it goes today. We're in the shop. You can see we're up in the air on the lift now and they're gonna get to work, open up. He thinks it's in the pulleys there as well. I hate this, <laughs> but just gonna try to relax this time and not get too tense about it. We'll see what happens. Ain't gonna change anything if I stress about it. So you can see here the belt is taken off. It goes up into there and they went to buy some bearings. So apparently one of the bearings was bad. He thinks he can find them. So good news all around. They're very quick to diagnose and start to get spare parts already. Pretty happy and calm. <laughs> I think they're on the right track. Looks like he found the parts. So they got the bearings in there, the new ones, and the rattle is gone. Now we're just gonna have them listen for this clank we keep hearing. I don't know what's going on. So we just left the mechanic and good news, no more noise. Yes! But it was a little bit more expensive than normal and not because of the labor. The labor was only 7,000 pesos. Which in dollars? It's like 20 bucks. About $21, not bad. Probably an hour and a half at least of work. The thing that cost the most was the parts. And that's because of the crazy import fees, I'm pretty sure. The labor was 7,000. The parts are 28,000. It is $87. Oh, okay. You know, that we can't carry around everything all the time, so <laughs> it's fine. I'm glad that he found the part. To go on with the mysterious clack noise that we always hear, he was trying to diagnose it again, and really we're not, we're still not quite sure. I think it might be the engine mount that is making the noise. I did ask him, like, what would have happened if that had gone gotten worse you know if it was a very serious issue and he said that when one of those bearings does eventually fail that your belt will fly off which leaves you without um, some of your accessories like AC uh, power steering and so it's really nice that we got that fixed before it became bad this time around in Calafate I guess I'll share with you guys a part that I love. It's not the best skate park, but this is a pretty fun little skate park over here. We'll get ready, check this out. Our friends Catherine and Klaus are also heading to the mechanic today and while they get their oil changed Danny is going to fix the lower AC fan that has been making a lot of noise whenever we turn it on. Surprisingly, that was actually pretty easy to disassemble thanks to having the tool ready to go inside of that, uh, where'd I put it? Ah, it was a piece of trash, I threw it away. <laughs> oh wow, it looks like the cat's actually playing with it now. This, I was gonna show people what I found in there. You put it down the side door, didn't you? There it is. <laughs> this is your toy. This is your new toy. This is what I pulled out of that fan, the blower motor. I'm a little worried that this is like part of that blower motor. So, and kind of time's up here. He's done with the mechanics. So 
I'll probably just put it back together and we'll see if that noise is gone. But let's take a look in there a little better. From this angle, we can see that looks nice. Hopefully this isn't part of some critical broken thing, but it was just rattling around in there anyway. I'm gonna try to button it back up. We'll see if the noise is gone. It's always fun doing things upside down with your head on the dirty, dirty floor. So we gotta turn this on. Oh, yes. No more rattling. So hopefully you can excuse me showing you the dirtiest part of the van I've ever seen. But we gotta win here, guys. found a spot without wind, which is crazy <laughs> in Patagonia. Oh my gosh, please don't let me just jinx it just now. We're convoying with the friends and just showing them a little bit of our favorite spots. Of course, you know, gotta swing by Perito Moreno Glacier when you're here. Well, Catherine and Klaus have invited us into their home, so let's check out the setup. So we both got the side doors facing each other and you know our van is from Washington and there's New York. Hey guys. Hi. <laughs> yeah, what's cool is Catherine's actually from Washington. I am. Yeah. yeah. We met in Banos. And uh, Klaus. Far away, I'm from Denmark. And then I was working in New York for a couple of years and bought this one here. Met Catherine. A couple of months into traveling. We met in Montana. Yeah. Yeah. And then we, yeah, I guess I got COVID. So I quarantined in the van <laughs> with Klaus during the pandemic. And now you've made it all the way down here to Patagonia. We've made it all yeah. the way here. Yeah, <laughs> pretty rare to see other American plated vans down here, right. you know? It really is. It is, yeah. yeah. It's a little piece of home. Two years we spent? Yeah, two years. Yeah. What kind of van is this? This is a 99 Chevy Express. I guess your standard sort of white creeper van and then some conversion <laughs> company sort of cut out the top and put a fiberglass medium height so we can sort of almost stand up. Nice. With some goodwill. <laughs> At least we can move around in here. We're still converting yeah. it, but we wanted to get out on our journey. Yeah, yeah. So this is the bedroom. This is our bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the bedroom. These drawers pull out which are for our ropas. Oh, nice. Um, the clothing. You can also sit on them. Right. Cook, which is really nice. Yeah, so you cook on isobutane canisters, which are easy to find down here. Yeah. A lot easier than propane, honestly. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's not the most economical setup, but it's easy and it works. We can bring our cooking stuff camping as well. So we have that one here for locks, and then we have a small little Rocket, rocket. I really like this uh, fruit hammock. You made this, right, Catherine? I did, yeah. This is really nice because um, it opens this way, but then you can also open it like this. Oh, I didn't know that. So we've been sleeping with our heads at the back windows and then drawing these drawers out and putting a big cushion here so we can sleep, uh, I guess, parallel with the van. They're tall. We're tall. <laughs> In the morning, if one of us is up before the other, we can still get our food. <laughs> nice. And you guys don't mind hanging out with short people. <laughs> so that's really nice of you. See, I wonder if I could stand up in your van. I feel like I always just like crawl in. Emily, let's see. <laughs> Emily, can you stand up in this van? Uh, maybe we should swap vans. Oh, yeah, almost. almost did. Oh, pretty, pretty close. I'm huh? pretty good, honestly. That's right really here. close for Emily. <laughs> so how tall are you again, Emily? Five? Uh, uh, two? two? More than I thought. Emily can stand up in right. here. Yeah, yeah. Heck yeah. So you yeah. got the solar panels mounted to this guy, and then yeah. what, how does the electrical work from there? So we have 415 watts of solar panel, and then I think through here pops a, sort of the connection. Uh -huh. it travels down here behind the cars, and then to our... Oh, this is gonna be messy. The this battery is all, all the way in there. And That's then cool. we have the inverter and a uh, controller somewhere up there. So okay. it's not super accessible, but it's very much out of the way. And for maximizing storage, it's pretty good. It sort of doubles up as our um, electrical and you know, music, music space, space, I guess, yeah. yeah. The yeah. other thing about your van is the guitars. When I left Denmark in the first place, I wasn't able to leave the guitars back home about three or something. 
course they were to travel in the van as well. Acoustic, one, I guess older, electric, and then this guy we found in Costa Rica. It's a nice little music setup. We are the jam later, maybe you want yeah. to record that. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. If YouTube lets us, I think they will, yeah, you know? Yeah, they would. Because I'm not really on tempo, so, you know? <laughs> I don't think the machine learning is going to catch me. <laughs> Such good exercise for the dog. Then we even like let her off the leash and she was so good. She just stayed next to us even when some random dogs were around. We have her really loose so if she stops or something you just let go. And it's like she's kind of crazy. Sometimes she just stops full run. She stops and takes a pee or something. So <laughs> you really want to hold that leash loose. Now we're going to be crossing a border double van. We've never crossed a border with anyone else before so this is going to be Pretty interesting. Luckily, these borders between Chile and Argentina are pretty easy, but we are going to the harder country, which is Chile. Chile always looks inside the van to see if we have any seeds, fruit, veggies. We're in the southern part of Patagonia right now. Chaten and El Calapate are both in Argentina, and that's where we've been hanging out. Whenever you think of Patagonia, in my head, I just see mountains, glaciers, beautiful, and there are very, very beautiful areas. But between those beautiful areas is some flat, flat desert. <laughs> there is always wind. The wind can sometimes get pretty exhausting if you're walking and you can't hear what people are saying around you because it's just so loud in your ears. I did not know how intense the wind is. It is way more than I thought originally. We're going over to Puerto Natales in Chile and that is where Torres del Paine is. We've already been to Torres del Paine to do the W trek, which was so much fun. We wanted to do another trek, but it seems like we're not going to, mostly because we're going to be going on that super long cruise yes. and we don't want to leave the pets. Even around Torres del Paine, there are some really cool wild camp spots south of the park that we're excited to go over to because some Rita and Graham will be able to go there as well. Hopefully we can get some good camping in with our friends and we might even have another friend coming along which will be a three US van convoy. All right, here we go, crossing the desert. for the ceremonial <laughs> gas fill up before leaving Argentina. Yeah. At the price of a dollar fifty a gallon slash throwing away the garbage back there, love. Throwing away the garbage. Oh, that's part of the ritual. <laughs> we need a half tank. We'll calculate this here. And look at this messy right here. They're still so stoked about winning the World Cup. So that came to be $20 for 13 gallons. A dollar fifty-five a gallon. <laughs> Thanks, Argentina. Yeah. We'll see you later. Yeah. So you guys got all your paperwork? Yeah, hopefully it's still there. <laughs> well, you think we could smuggle the cat into the next country under your bed? <laughs> <Our blood. laughs> okay, here it is, the border. Graham, you stay here, we'll handle the paperwork. Same for you, good girl. This is honestly more people in line than we've ever seen here, but it's gonna be a smooth breeze. Why is class so much faster than you? Oh, this stuff. Wait, what? It's ready. Oh, that was fast. So, half of a border, the winner is Klaus <laughs> and Catherine. I wait in the cup for the van. Oh man, it is very cold. I don't even know if you can see it. 
you can hear us because of the wind. My favorite water closet probably. Let's see what's going on over in Chile. Okay, Sombrita. Well done, Graham. Yeah, ready to go. This is our first convoy border crossing and it's going well. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're going to win this overall though because we have two extra passengers that have papers to be checked as well. So I think that Klaus and Catherine are going to win this border crossing. <laughs> and the price you pay. Welcome to Chile and look at that view. <laughs> Oh, please be a good easy crossing. I don't want drama in this video. Not with the friends behind us. Let's let's have everybody get in instantly. Por favor, Chile. This is actually the third time that we've been through this border. <laughs> Only the second time going this way. So you never know what's gonna happen. Are you worried at all, Emily? No, I'm not worried. We got no directions even. That's we've been here. <laughs> Okay, this one is your stereotypical arch over the roadway sort of border crossing. One of my favorite um, architectural choices when it comes to borders. I think they've done a great job here. A perfect height, not high enough to let, you know, a transformer through, and that is a design decision. The border crossing Dorotea. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> Can't forget the important paperwork bag fireproof bag we keep in a safe. There we go. Yeah, that's windy. Down here, yeah. Oh, so yeah, we might have to do an online thing. We'll see. Couldn't hurt to get this started here on the phone. Oh yeah, no internet, oh boy. Okay, so good thing they got Wi-Fi. Step one. Trying to complete this declaration so that we can win the race here at the border. It's going pretty well on their slow, slow Wi Fi. Okay, so we can do it on paper. That's nice. Pencils down, Emily. I've won. Okay, so now we just have to pull up. Pretty good border crossing so far. Yeah, I, I'm a little nervous about leaving our papers there, so. One slip of paper one customs guy has. The other paper, the other custom guy has. I am yeah, really stressed out about it. I wish I... It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. So, here we go. Hola. We got your precious papers, Emily. Yeah. <laughs> you were so worried about... <laughs> that was funny. One. I need to go back in, I guess. Okay, oh boy. Woo, fingers crossed on that. Woo, look at the papers. <laughs> oh my god. Let's <laughs> <laughs> get out of here, huh? Yeah. Is that walkie on? All right, you guys. Uh, looks like when it comes to race car status, <laughs> Pro Master is the clear winner. Oh, uh, okay. Just like yeah we'll see you in the next country guys. <laughs> we're worried about our friends oh oh they're coming they're moving, they're moving. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. they took their potatoes they took the potatoes <laughs> welcome to chile Woo! right over here in Puerto Natales. So make sure to come back for some adventures with our three van convoy. If you like this video,
video, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you'd like to help us out a bit more, head over to our Patreon. We'll see you guys next time.